Belgian farmers and breeders are worried. It's already been a very dry spring this year and the few bursts of rain the country has had may not be enough. Jean-Luc Dewey has a 66 hectare farm near the Belgian city of Namur. He produces cereals and sugar beets. The soil is dry due to the lack of rainfall and the northeast wind that's been blowing continuously in recent weeks. Now he's beginning to assess the cost of the drought. If it doesn't rain by the start of June, it could be a problem, really, in terms of all the crops and all the production. On dry soil, fertilizer doesn't penetrate deeply. Without this and water, crop yields are likely to be lower, explains Laurent Gomin, owner of a neighboring farm. The drought is a double whammy because without fodder production, he's likely to encounter difficulties in feeding his 250 cows and 600 goats. The first cuts of grass in the spring were really low. It's half of what we harvested last year, so we're already using some of our reserves, which will be smaller when we need to feed the animals in the winter. So that means we're going to have to buy raw materials that are obviously very expensive now because of the economic situation. The geopolitical context is such that everything we have to buy is very expensive. The farming community says it's still too early to talk about a catastrophe. But the current situation with the war in Ukraine is putting additional costs on the sector. Fertilizer is extremely expensive and in times of drought it is less effective. While we would like to have a period when this efficiency is increased, it's the opposite due to the drought. If we have to use the feed for the livestock tomorrow, it could also be extremely expensive. Belgium isn't the only country in Europe affected by the drought. France, for example, is expected to have the hottest May on record, pointing to a long and dry summer. Chris Lepitch's Euronews, Brussels.